Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley. If you're new here, I am a licensed cosmetologist in the state of California. And if you haven't checked out my Instagram yet, I'm gonna leave it right down here. Follow me there to keep up on all things hair. So today's video is gonna be all about how to stay inspired as a hairstylist. Being burnt out as a hairstylist is honestly really easy. We work long days, long hours, but on our feet all day. We're interacting with people all day long. You have to be relatable, funny, personable. You have to be able to talk to people and that is exhausting. Now don't get me wrong, you can still absolutely love your job as a hairstylist and get burnt out. Getting burnt out doesn't mean you don't like your job, it doesn't mean you want a new job, you're looking for a new job, you hate doing hair. It means maybe you need a break or maybe you need to be re-inspired. So today's video is going to be how to stay inspired as a hairstylist. I actually had to sit down and write out these tips when I was feeling burnt out. When you're feeling burnt out, you have to sit down and be like, okay, what can I do to get re-inspired? So I have six tips tips for you and if you're interested keep on watching also if the lighting keeps changing it is literally so cloudy today so it is what it is okay so my first tip for you is something we do on the regular but I feel like we don't think about it as much and that is to scroll through social media now the reason it's different than doing this on an everyday basis is because you're setting yourself up with an intention you're gonna go maybe on a hair TikTok. maybe you're looking through hair Pinterest you are getting new ideas for a photo shoot or maybe to photo your clients. Maybe you're getting backdrop inspiration for your salon. Pinterest is where I get a lot of my ideas. It's where I spark a lot of creativity. So honestly, just scrolling through and seeing like color palettes or different tones literally sparks up like toner formulations in my head that I've never tried before. And then lastly, scroll through Instagram, get some creativity. Don't be scared to save the TikTok, save the Instagram photos, save the Pinterest photos and put them all in an album. And when you're lacking creativity or you need some inspiration, you can always refer back to them. Now, the next one is something that I've done in the past that also really helps me stay inspired. It's a little bit dangerous because it costs money, but that is to go shopping. Now, no, this doesn't mean going shopping for clothing, but go shopping for hair product. Go to Salon Centric. New products encourages me to try new things. Maybe it's a new styling product, a new curling iron, a new color line. Literally, the options are endless, and that will motivate you to get behind the chair and encourage you to try new things. Literally, this can be a styling tool, product, color. Just go to Salon Centric, don't have a list, and just look around. Now, the third tip is something that I feel like is an obvious and a given, and that is to take classes and seek out education. They can be in person, they can be online, it can literally be a YouTube video. There's a reason you're probably watching this video right now. It can be color, styling, business related, extension. It can range from free to $4,000, just all depending on how much you're willing to spend, how much time you're willing to put into it. Taking some classes and getting inspiration or even just watching a YouTube video is allowing you to hear someone else's perspective on things. It's allowing you to have an opportunity to have a light bulb moment in your head or spark interest in something new. Like I said, they can be in person or online. Maybe you don't have the means or the time to go travel to a class, then online is perfect for now. I do really encourage you to take in-person classes because that will give you the opportunity to meet new people. But like like I said, whatever you can do to get re-inspired is key. So the fourth tip goes hand in hand with that and that is to get on YouTube and watch some YouTube videos. When I am feeling uninspired in my career, I watch hairstylists day in my life. I see what they do in the mornings before they go to work, how they get ready for their day, how they set up for their client, the kind of hair they do, just literally little things like that. Something as simple as watching a 10 minute YouTube video could get you on the right track to go to work the next day, feel re-inspired and not make you dread the day. So the the next tip is to take a step away from being behind the chair. If you are that burnt out that you're like, okay, I need a break from doing hair, take a three day weekend. Now, this doesn't mean stop doing hair and quit your job. Like that's not what this means. That means take three days off, take an extra long weekend. You will probably miss doing hair. Now, the next one is to just completely reassess your goals. You need to get a notebook and write down, are you on track to get to where you wanna be? Usually. I'll set myself like monthly goals and then some yearly goals. Writing down your goals gives you something to look at. I know as a hairstylist, 
our brains are like a jumbled mess. We're like, did we text them back? Schedule that person. So writing them down, it gives us something to refer to. So the last tip I have for you is to go and get your hair done. I feel like this one is not talked about a lot, but getting my hair done seriously inspires me more than anything. Just seeing how someone interacts with you differently than you interact with your clients or seeing how another salon does business. Maybe you're inspired because you love the way she did your hair. I am very passionate about keeping yourself looking good because obviously that makes you feel good, but also being in the salon, hearing everyone talk hair, seeing how everyone does hair is seriously so motivating. So if you've never gone to a different salon to get your hair done, I totally, totally recommend it. So those are the tips I have for you on how to stay inspired as a hairstylist. If there's anything you guys do when you're feeling a little burnt out that you swear by, go ahead and comment that down below because honestly, I feel like we could all benefit from that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where we can connect and chat about hair and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, and if you have any video requests, leave them down below for me, please. And thank you. Okay. Bye.